What's up, everybody? If you're new here, I'm Phil, and if you are a producer, songwriter, or just even someone who just enjoys watching music be created, this is absolutely the channel for you. I once heard this rumor that if you click the subscribe button and the like button, magical things happen. Now those magical things may be you're notified when I post more content like this, but hey, what do you got to lose? Now, if you haven't seen the producer battle that I did against Nathan Larson, go check that out. Link is up above or down in the description. But about a month before I actually challenged Nathan Larson, truth be told, I really wasn't expecting him to accept the challenge. Glad he did. I sent out an open invitation, if you will, to the Producer Accelerator group, and then just asked if anybody would be willing to do somewhat of a challenge or a battle with me. In comes Jeremy Sutherland. Now, Jeremy is the lead singer of Stone Prophet, a rock band, and so I already knew it was gonna be pretty interesting to see what he might come up with. Now, there were no rules to this challenge. All I did is I sent lyrics, and I did send a melody as well with it, but again, no rules. You could use the melody, you could not use it, just the lyrics needed to be used, a majority at least, right? So I didn't wanna put a lot of stipulations on it, just wanted to see, hey, here's some lyrics, what do you come up with? So let's go jump into Logic. I'll show you a little bit of my sound selection, a little bit of my production, where I envision the song going just as a producer, and then let's take a listen to see what Jeremy came up with. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at the piano. It's this Keyscape piano here. And then as far as the chords go, it just repeats the same chords throughout the entire song. Done on purpose. And for the bass, we have output signal. You all know I love my output. And it's the attenuate, and it just gives it a nice kind of driving bass. Now I have no idea how to say this plugin's name, but it was actually a free Native Instruments plugin a few months ago. And I just threw it in now by itself. Not very interesting, I know. But then what else I threw on here was Spaced Out by Baby Audio. And now I just adjusted a few of these settings here. And so it went from this to this. Yeah, that's right. Now just to add a little extra ear candy, I threw in a little vocal lick from Hooked, which is just one of Arcade's little, I don't even know what they call them, lines or whatever. Uh, but it's the questioning and it's Hooked and it's just pretty simple. This gives you a little something extra to listen to. Now I also threw this Cloud Supply on here. It's a Native Instruments plug-in. It's just the Pad Tie by itself. Again, going with my portal, the Strange Repeater. So what I tried to do is kind of some of these filling elements, I put movement in it, that way it helped just create some of that rhythm and I didn't have to create all the rhythm with percussion or other normal rhythm type instruments. Now we have this kind of ear candy, the first one I did, and I put Output's Exhale on it with Super VHS from Baby Audio and then also just added a little crispiness with fresh air. Here it is by itself. and then listen to what Super VHS does to it. Just brought in a little bit of heat, you know what I'm saying? And again, just added fresh air, just to give it a little bit of crispiness. Now to give it just a little bit more accent on those parts, to help out the ear candy a little bit, just added some alchemy on here. But only on that first kind of lick there, but here it is without the alchemy on there. And here it is with alchemy. 
And so layering it up just kind of helped it punch through the mix a little bit more. Now, the last thing I did in the verse here was just kind of thickened up the vocals a little bit using Vocal Synth 2 from Isotope. Living now. Without the vocal, you have being the way you're living now. That would probably sound a little bit better tuned. Here it is with Vocal Synth. Being the way you're living now. Just threw a little bit of reverb on there. And again, it's just there to help thicken up the vocals a little bit. Now to aid that buildup going into the pre-course, I just brought up Omnisphere here, Persistent Plucker. And it's just there to give you a little something extra to listen to. But you hear, I mean, it does punch through the mix just a little bit. You gotta kind of focus to hear it. There's nothing at all I ever see wrong. So on the pre-course here is where you start being introduced to the clap. I just layered two machine claps that I liked, threw on just a little bit of reverb. You may. And that's really the only thing new that's added on the pre-course. Again, now we're kind of trying to build into the course. For that last bar leading into the course, I put a rise from rise and hit. A good amount of reverb on there. That way it just kind of teetered off. And then using Arcade again, I threw in this kind of vocal lick that it had in there. Now I actually went in and tuned it with Melodyne to make it fit a little bit more. Threw on some vocal synth again. Make me one life like you. So that's really all I did for the buildup. Make me one life like you. Ah. Sometimes simple is better. Now on the course is where I start introducing just that driving kick. Nothing too fancy. Um, and it's just two damage kicks layered on top of each other. Super easy, right? But the focus of this song wasn't the rhythm. It's just to show you that we're in a new part of the song because purposefully, I did not change the chord pattern of this song. All I did is I took the original chords from the verses and then just added a little bit more rhythm. So it went from to this. I mean, and just the piano, that pretty simple kick and clap is really the driving force of the entire course. As far as vocals, I just threw on a couple doubles, panned them left and right, threw on a harmony, panned them left and right, just to help thicken everything up. Are you truly that blessed with all the success? Or is there something you're trying to hide? And as you can see, I just repeated a couple of the other elements uh, throughout the song, and that's how we came up with this. Are you truly that blessed with all the success? Ah. All right, Jeremy, let's see what you came up with. I've noticed a change I'm seeing the way you're living now Something so strange Oh, I'm just stupefied Wondering about so easy Nice like that. Please tell me how you make me Wanna live a life like you Definitely went rock Nice. Very nice, dude. Dude, that was legit. Like, for real legit. I was totally hoping that he would go rock. I mean, that's not the type of music I write. Definitely didn't keep the melody that I sent, which I love. I love the fact you just took the lyrics and you took it to where you wanted. So man, that, that was awesome. I love how you did this little stutter effect right here. 
The drums sound awesome. Um, I think you and I talked after I sent you mine that it's something that I personally want to work on is my drum production. And man, I love what you did with the drums here. I think my favorite part of what Jeremy did in this song is kind of in this chorus section. If you listen to the chords, he's doing this. Maybe it was chromatic. Um, I'd have to listen really closely. You'll just hear the chords falling down. I think it sounds awesome. So dope. Dude, I love that you took it in a completely different direction than I did. And here's what I came up with. I've noticed a change and seen the way you're living now. There's nothing at all I ever see wrong, so I'm just wondering how. Are you truly that blessed with all that success? Or is there something you're trying to hide? I don't want to be rude or try to intrude. I just hope you're okay inside. So there's what both Jeremy and I came up with. If you like Jeremy's voice or just what he did with the song, I'm gonna leave a link to his band's website and a little bit of his social media so you can go check him out. And Jeremy, man, I truly appreciate you taking the time to produce this track. I enjoyed it. I know everyone here is going to enjoy it. And if you haven't already, subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below of whose version you liked better. Till the next video, I'm Phil. Keep creating music.